The road to the NHL draft begins on stages like Quebec International Pee Wee Hockey Tournament. It's the most prestigious hockey tournament in the world for young boys. Flyers once again sent their best youngsters, um, but their road hit a speed bump. And that's where the organization stepped in. NBC 10's Rosemary Connors has the story. I believe there's 1,200 plus NHL players that have come through this tournament on their way up. From Gretzky, Lemieux, Mark Howell, Eric Lindros, right on down to guys like Connor McDavid and Austin Matthews nowadays. It's sort of where players get put on the map for the very first time at 12 or 13 years old. That's Rob Baer. He's the Flyers director of youth hockey, describing what can fairly be called the Little League World Series of Hockey, the Quebec International Pee Wee Tournament. We did really well. We won our first five games uh, and then lost to a team from Ontario in the quarterfinals. We've closed the gap significantly over the last couple of decades. Not just USA hockey at large, but Philadelphia specifically. There's a lot of good hockey players coming out of this area. One of those players is 13-year-old Aiden Wright of Springfield. He played goalie for this year's team. I like competing to win every game. I'm really competitive, so I just love trying to win. While winning is important, his mom, Kim, knows that the experience of the event is one he and the rest of the team will treasure forever. It is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Everybody told us that before we went, but until you really are there and you experience it, you really can't understand how overwhelming the whole experience can be in a positive way. But that experience almost didn't happen. COVID concerns caused a problem with the bus that would bring the kids to Canada. The Flyers stepped in. The bus company called us the week before the tournament and said, we don't have any drivers that are allowed to, to enter Canada. And so there was a little bit of scrambling involved and we found a bus company and we found a driver and the cost was a lot more than it would have been, but the Flyers figured it out. The Flyers' generosity ensured these kids and their parents would get a moment to savor for the rest of their lives. You get really overwhelmed with emotion in that moment because your son is doing something that he loves. Uh, he has an opportunity to represent a team, um, you know, that is not everybody gets selected for. So you get really overwhelmed with just so much. You, get, you tear up. You can't help it. For Fitly Live Sports Edition, I'm Rosemary Connors, NBC10 News. How awesome is that?